morning. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Okay. Today is February the 28th, 2020. Keep today's date in mind because it's quite relevant. I think that's the word for it. I get up, I come into work as I normally do. Just another ordinary day, nothing happening. And I'm stood here and I happen to glance across to the workshop door. And do you know what I see where the steel girder sits that like kind of holds the building up? There's something there in wrapping paper. Don't get me wrong, I know what it is. I know it's a part for a four post ramp. The problem is, it's been sat there for more years than I can count. And it's never been unwrapped. So I thought, hmm, let's have a little look, shall we? So I decide to drag it across the workshop to a more convenient location. Ah! Damn it! Did I fail to mention? It's really bloody heavy. So what we have here is a Tecalamit four ton, four post lift, hydraulic ram. Although the heads have been broken off these bungs, this is where your hydraulic pipes would actually fit in. There's one either end of this ram so the threads are still good. So actually I'm gonna keep them bungs in there. This end here, you've got like a yoke with a threaded end there, so I guess there's some bolt that goes in there to fix it onto the ramp. And you've got another pair of yokes the other end, where it obviously fixes on the other end of the ramp. And there's your other hydraulic pipe union. So obviously as the ramp goes up into the air, this piece here, which actually turns, you've got your, your piston inside here, and this piece will come outwards, and then you'll see all the shiny bit, and then it will retract as the ramp comes back down. There's a label on this ram. I don't know whether that's relevant to anybody, if anybody knows anything about this, because there's a little story about this ram. Okay, here's the interesting part, because believe me, it was like stepping back in time this morning. When I unwrapped this, there was a little dispatch note come with it. It wasn't an invoice or anything, it's just a piece of paper like when they pick something from the parts department and send it out, they send a shipping note with it. And I, I, cannot, I, <laughs> I cannot believe the date on this. Can you see that? Can you see it? The 2nd of July, 2003, this was shipped out here. I cannot believe that hydraulic ram has sat here for the last 17 years and nobody has bothered to open the package. Somebody needs to start doing their goddamn job and opening the mail here. Anyway, the purpose of this video today, I'm sorry it's not car related, but I just found this a little bit interesting. So I thought I'd bring the point up. And more to the point, because this hydraulic ram is so old, in actual fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a little explanation of this garage. Because this place was built in 1998. And in that year, we had this Tecalamit four post, four ton lift fitted. I think it was a class seven lift myself, because I'm telling you now, the brake rollers that come with it, because it is all part of like an MOT package, the brake rollers, they were some heavy duty shit. I'm you know the grit, the kind of grit you get on the rollers after nearly, I don't know, more than 15 years of use, it wasn't even marked. You know a lot, a lot of these cheap rollers you get, all the grit kind of wears off and they get smooth. These weren't even, these were still like brand new after 15 years. And I'll tell you, the only reason we got rid of that ramp was because certain electrical components inside it went wrong. We had to calm it, come out, they couldn't source the parts for this ramp anywhere in the, in the bloody world. They were looking in Italy in all places. 
They couldn't fix it. I got some independent electricians out to see if they could do something with it. They couldn't fix it. So in the end, we had to scrap it. We sold the ramp. And unfortunately, when, I, when we gave the ramp away, the, the actual manual that was with it, because we still had the works, the manual for it, we gave that away as well, because someone took it away, and I think they were going to rebuild it somewhere. But here's the thing. The purpose of this video is that somebody out there has probably still got one of these ramps. And I don't know, maybe, maybe somebody somewhere in the world wants one of these hydraulic rams. The question I keep asking myself is, this ram was delivered in 2003, and these, these ramps were constantly inspected. Every six months they had an inspection by Burita Veritas, I think they are. They'd come out and for the insurance purposes, they've got to inspect the ramps and make sure they're safe. So one of these rams must have been leaking. But they sent this ram out and it never got fitted. And I do not, do you know what, for the life of me, I do not know why. It's just sat there. It never got fitted and I, I just don't know. But I'm going to leave you with like the information I do have of what that ramp was. Limited information it is I know. But uh, as in the title of this video, if somebody looks at this, they might think, ah, I've got that ramp and I need one of them rams. And I've got one here. I'm not going to fling it out. <laughs> anyway, that's it. What can I do with this ramp? What can I do with this ramp? What can I do with this ram? I'm going to see how heavy it is. I'm going to see if I can weight lift it above my head because I reckon I can do it. <laughs> I reckon this should be a piece of piss. Ready? Yeah! Come on, you motherfucker! You just got to fucking get the fuck up in the fucking gun of liquor! God damn it! What are you trying to do? Money, I swear to God, now is not the time for stupid questions. Well, that looks easy. Let me have a go. Whatever. <laughs> Everyone out as much. Yay! There. Go and knock yourself out. That was so unfair. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to end the video here. But on a more serious note, I have got a few bits of paperwork of what this ramp used to be. And I believe I do have here the model and the serial number of that, of that ramp. So uh, that might be some of, of some use. So if anyone out there does have one of these ramps and you do need a hydraulic ram, get in contact with me for here through YouTube and we'll work something out. I have no idea what that ram is worth. So if anyone wants it, just make me an offer. Anyway, that's it. Till next time, guys. See ya.